Ever wondered about the real price of fast fashion? Imagine a country rapidly industrializing, its garment industry booming, swiftly becoming the world's second largest exporter of clothing. That's Bangladesh for you in the early 2010s. This rapid growth, however, was not without its human cost. Picture the workers toiling for long hours in unsafe conditions, earning barely enough to make ends meet. Now, let's introduce a player in this tale, the Rana Plaza building. An eight-story structure, it was home to multiple garment factories, retail outlets and a bank. But there was a problem. Built on shaky foundations with unauthorized floors added, it was a disaster waiting to happen. The stage was set for a tragedy, a catastrophe that would send shockwaves far beyond the borders of Bangladesh. A tragedy that would reverberate around the world. What happens when profits are prioritized over people's safety? In the weeks leading up to that fateful day, the Rana Plaza building began to show signs of distress. Structural cracks, like silent screams, began to appear on the walls and pillars of the building, causing alarm among the workers and shop owners. These cracks were not mere blemishes on the concrete, but rather they were ominous harbingers of the catastrophe that was about to strike. Yet these warning signs were blatantly ignored. Factory owners and supervisors, in a chilling display of negligence, chose to disregard the risks. The wheels of production had to keep turning, it seemed, regardless of the cost. Workers, trapped in a cycle of exploitation, were coerced to continue their tasks in this crumbling death trap. The stage was set, the actors unaware of the tragedy that was about to unfold. And then, the unthinkable happened. April the 24th, 2013, a day Bangladesh will never forget. Imagine the bustling morning, filled with the usual hum of machines and chatter of workers. Suddenly, the hum is replaced by a deafening crash. The Rana Plaza building, once standing tall, now lay in ruin. Buried under the rubble were thousands of workers. The news spread like wildfire, and the world held its breath as rescue teams rushed to the scene, desperately clawing through the debris in search of survivors. Each passing hour was a race against time, and hope dwindled as the death toll steadily rose, reaching a devastating count of 1,134 lives lost. In the face of such a catastrophe, the resilience and bravery of the rescuers shone through the dust and despair. Yet the magnitude of the disaster was a chilling reminder of the human cost behind fast fashion. The world watched in horror, but the aftermath was yet to unfold. The collapse of Rana Plaza was more than a tragedy, it was a wake-up call. This catastrophic event sent shockwaves around the globe, pulling the veil off the perilous conditions in Bangladesh's garment industry. The world watched in horror as the death toll rose, and the calls for justice and reform grew louder. In the aftermath, the international community demanded immediate action, sparking a series of initiatives to ensure worker safety and prevent future disasters. Brands that sourced from Rana Plaza were urged to contribute to compensation funds. The Bangladesh Garment Manufacturers and Exporters Association, or BGMEA, established a trust fund to aid the rehabilitation of survivors and the families of the deceased. However, the process of distributing these funds proved to be a slow and arduous task, leaving many victims without the necessary support for an extended period. But the aftermath was not just about compensation, it was about change. The tragedy catalyzed a series of reforms in the garment industry. The Accord on Fire and Building Safety in Bangladesh was established, bringing together over 200 global brands and trade unions to improve factory safety. Concurrently, the Alliance for Bangladesh Worker Safety was formed, focusing on inspecting factories and educating workers about safety procedures. The disaster also triggered changes at the governmental level. Domestic and international pressure led the Bangladeshi government to strengthen labor laws and improve regulatory frameworks. The minimum wage was increased and factory inspections became more frequent and rigorous. Yet these reforms are just the beginning. The road to a safe and humane garment industry is long and fraught with challenges. But the memory of Rana Plaza and the lives lost in its rubble fuels the drive for change. The Rana Plaza collapse serves as a stark reminder of the human cost of fast fashion, urging us to advocate for the rights and safety of workers worldwide. 
As we move forward, it is imperative to remember that our choices as consumers can influence the lives of garment workers half a world away. Before we end this video, we'd like to remind you that your actions can make a difference. If you found this content insightful, please consider subscribing to our channel for more. Your support helps us continue to shed light on important global issues like this one. If this video has informed or moved you in any way, please hit the like button. This simple action can help increase the reach of our content, spreading awareness to more people worldwide. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest uploads. Each new video is an opportunity to learn, grow and contribute to a more informed global community. Thank you for watching and remember, your actions can make a difference.